My name is Yi Guo from Beijing Tsinghua Changgeng Hospital in China, Beijing. And uh, the topic uh, I shared uh, here is the application of a lined fiber nanofiber hydrogel, uh, which is AFG in promote, promoting spinal cord regeneration. It's uh, a, a basic research uh, promising uh, a preliminary results. And uh, there are two parts of my talk. The first one is a fabrication and the characterization of AFG. And uh, as we all know, spinal cord uh, injury is a common and a devastating condition uh, all over the world. And uh, it always uh, leads to long-term disability, severe psychological uh, impairments and a heavy financial burden. And uh, uh, based on the WHO website and uh, the uh, estimated global annual incidence rate of spinal cord injury is uh, 40 to 80 cases per million uh, populations. And uh, until now, the spinal cord injury remains to be the most difficult challenge, uh, not only uh, for the uh, researchers, but also for the clinicians. And uh, the Miami project uh, to cure paralysis uh, is the uh, most uh, famous uh, project to, to treat the spinal cord injury, and uh, we have some uh, uh, collaborations with them, and uh, we visit them, and uh, they have uh, uh, amazing facilities uh, to help the spinal cord patients' uh, rehabilitation. And uh, in my center, we also uh, have some collaborations with our uh, university and uh, to develop some uh, uh, methods to help the, those patients. And, uh, uh, but recently tissue engineering uh, based strategy is uh, uh, emerging to be the promising approach to treat spinal cord injury and uh, various biomaterials were reported to promoting spinal cord regeneration through at least three mechanisms. And the first one is it can serve as a scaffold to support and induce extension of injure, injure uh, axons. And the second, it, it can alter the microenvironment of the injured ex, uh, extracellular matrix in the lesion side. And the third one is uh, it can act as a delivery system to release various bioactive molecules to promote the tissue regrowth. And uh, so the, the right lower uh, three pictures uh, show different kind of uh, bioscaffold to improving uh, spinal cord regeneration and uh, uh, published the, in the paper. They have different uh, components, structures and uh, biological effects. And, uh, uh, and this is uh, uh, our uh, biomaterial. We de developed it and uh, we fabricated the AFG hydrogel by using electro spinning and uh, molecule molecular self assembly. And uh, the left picture shows uh, the, uh, the how to make, make it. Um, during the electro spinning, the fibrinogen fibers were deposited in a horizontally rotating collector. And uh, there is a thrombing in the liquid of the collector. And it will, um, uh, in enzymatically cleave the fibrinogen to fibrin. So it eventually by chemical cross link, the linking based the spontaneous self assembly, the fibrinular fibrin hydrogels can be formed. And uh, uh, th this uh, panel shows the characterization of AFG. The AFG bundle can be knotted and stretched indicating it's a good uh, flexibility. And uh, the polarized uh, uh, the Light microscope shows uh, the polarized uh, uh, the the uh, the polarized uh, uh, characteristics uh, uh, of AFG, and uh, we can see the birefringence phenomenon uh, with optical extinction in the cross region of the two fiber bundles, 
And uh, so, uh, uh, and uh, the, the uh, line, the topography of AFG was confirmed by uh, scanning electron uh, microscope uh, from different level of scales. The AFG shows aligned features, especially in the nano scale. Uh, it is obvious that the, the aligned topography of AFG makes it a perfect mimics of the extracellular uh, matrix of spinal cord. Additionally, the uh, elastic uh, uh, modulars of AFG is similar with the spinal cord. So uh, the AFG might work as the an artificial extra, extra cellular matrix to support the regeneration of the spinal cord. And uh, uh, the, the effect of AFG on nervous system was uh, preliminary observed in vitro. Uh, for example, to evaluate the effect of AFG on support of axonal growth and sprouting, we uh, co-culture uh, of the isolated rat dorsal the AFG for three days, and the dorsal road ganglions shows significantly rapid and the long neuroid outgrowth longitudinally. We also detect the effect of AFG on mesenchymal uh, stem cells. And after uh, 14 days, after culture of these two uh, uh, materials, the mesenchymal stem cell shows a, a neural differentiation. Then uh, we studied the effect of AFG on uh, uh, pro promoting spinal cord regeneration in three different animals, uh, rats, canines, and the non-human primates. And this is the, uh, uh, the rat dorsal hemisected spinal cord injury model to test the, the effect of AFG implantation. And uh, uh, the uh, we use a random uh, fibrin hydrogel, uh, which is uh, the RFG and the saline as controls. And the two weeks after surgery, the density of regenerated tissue in F AFG group is obviously higher than the other uh, group. And uh, the, the, uh, the two weeks after implantation with the increase of the cell invasion, the, the fibrin scaffolds uh, were degraded and replaced by the invading cells. And uh, uh, a large amount of neurons uh, labeled with beta tubulin 3 were observed to form densely packed uh, lined cell cables uh, in the AFG group. Uh, while the uh, regrowth tissue in the RFG group was still distributed, uh, distributed randomly. And uh, uh, these uh, uh, differences uh, get more obvious four weeks post surgery implantations. And uh, remyelination of regenerated axon is the structural basis of the signal conduct function. So, uh, 16 weeks after the surgery, regrowth tissues in the middle of the damaged area were examined by the uh, transmission electron uh, microscope uh, uh, as shows the, the left panels. And uh, uh, we, we can see in the AFG group, the myelinated axons could be seen clearly. The regrowth axon density in AFP group was significantly higher than the, in control group. And this is the DTI evaluation of the regrowth nerve fiber, obviously, the regrowth fibers in the AFP, AFG group shows the best directionality and integrity. So uh, we uh, also uh, performed the, uh, to, to do the animal models in canines, uh, the, the, the beagle uh, dogs, the beagles. And uh, uh, this is a, uh, the surgery we uh, do the models, and uh, and uh, we uh, we established the uh, hemisected spinal cord injury model at T11 to T12 level. The length the length 
oscillation is a four milli, uh, millimeter. And this is the, the, uh, the surgery uh, steps. After coagulated the, the, the veins and uh, uh, we uh, remove the parts of the uh, spinal cord uh, to do the hemisected. And uh, then uh, fill the hole with the uh, aligned uh, hydro uh, hydrogels. And we can see that both MEP and the SEP in the right hind limbs were attenuated by the surgery. And the DTI also implied after the survey to confirm the successful of the model establishment. And here the, the follow-up uh, uh, videos and the follow-up uh, lasts for uh, 16 weeks. And uh, we can see uh, at the, this is the first week, AFG group and the, the control group. And here the, the two months and the 12 weeks. AFG group has the, uh, a, a good recovery. And uh, uh, it is noteworthy that eight weeks after the surgery, uh, the dogs in the AFG group can stand by four limbs. Uh, however, in the control group, the dogs are always in the sitting position. And the histological uh, analysis uh, was applied to confirm the situations of tissue regrowth in the two groups. Uh, in H and E staining slices, uh, a better tissue regeneration can, it can be easily found. And while the big cavity and uh, uh, strangle myelia uh, in the lesion side can be seen in the control group, and uh, uh, in uh, immunofluorescence uh, uh, staining was further used to clarify the cellular components uh, of the regrowth tissue. The red color represents tubulin three, which is the marker of axon, and the green color represents GFAP, which is the marker of astrocytes. Uh, so in the AFP group, the regenerated tissue contains a large number of axons and astrocytes which is highly similar with the intact uh, a tissue in the contralateral site. However, we cannot see obvious axon regrowth into the lesion site in the control group. And then we uh, do the, uh, the uh, uh, non-human primate uh, study. And this is a, a, a preclinical study in Sinomogas uh, monkey with spinal cord injury. And uh, we do the similar uh, pr procedure uh, as the, the dog, uh, but we perform the spinal cord hemisection at T8 uh, uh, to T9 level. And uh, here are some videos. This is the, the And uh, the two weeks uh, after the surgery, we can see AFG group has some, uh, uh, a slightly movement, but, uh, and the, the four weeks post-operative, uh, the right, the limbs can uh, move uh, more. And this is the three, uh, three months after the surgery. AFG group recovered uh, very well, but the uh, control group uh, recovered. So um, also we do some uh, AFG based on multifunctional hydrogel uh, tests. And uh, here's some uh, summary, uh, AFG and uh, AFG based uh, 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 Multifunctional uh, hydrogel can facilitate the spinal cord regeneration. 
uh, in diverse animal models. Uh, they have potentials for clinical practice of spinal cord injury. And uh, at the end of the, uh, the, the talk, uh, I would like to appreciate the great efforts of the other uh, members in our research group and uh, the other two PI, uh, Professor Xiu Mei Wang and Professor Gui Huai Wang, and the two PhD candidates, uh, the Tao Zheng and uh, Ma Wei Tao. And thanks, thanks for your attention. Uh, thank you very much, Gui. That was a fantastic talk. We are looking forward to further better results in terms with uh, in terms of. Uh, uh,